Welcome to Tech Easy. Good evening to everyone. Today in this video, we'll see how we can create tasks in Zoho CRM. So this is on my Zoho CRM homepage. See here under pending task, there is already a task which I have created previously. And this current task is in progress if you check the status. And what I'll do is, yes, this is the task option at top menu if you want to create a new task. Let us check already created task first and then we will try to create one more like this one so i have assigned this is my admin super admin and i have created one other user and i have assigned this task to that user so for you to perform tasks on zoho crm to have users created i already did a video on that that how you can create users on zoho if you don't know i'll drop the link in the description you can go through that at the top menu you need to click on task at the right top you'll have the option to create a new task so click on that create a new task and here you need to fill up with the details here first thing is the task owner i will assign alex as the task owner so he should perform this task what is this task i am just saying call to the customer of mobile banking application so there is a customer who approach our company as our company is a mobile app developer company so i'm what i'm saying is call to the banking mobile application customer i am assigning this to alex and i'll give the date as tomorrow so within tomorrow uh, there should be call conducted regarding this uh, deal or the project so what is contact and what is account so uh, for example xyz abc is the contact or the person with whom this alex needs to talk and xyz is the company name their company name so what i'll do is on the top right click i'll right click and open the contacts in the other tab so if you don't know how to create contacts and accounts i did a detailed video on that i'll drop that link also in the description you can go through that see here uh, on the other tab this xyz company and this contact xyz abc is already created i'll try to show you that one so these are all the contacts and the company list or the account name list so i'll scroll down yes i need to scroll to right yeah I'll scroll down and show you see XYZ is the company name and XYZ ABC is the person or the contact so they are already created that's why they are getting into the drop down see here I am setting the priority to high because this task should be really executed quickly and you can keep the remainder and set the remainder time and you can also opt to repeat but one thing if you keep on repeat there will be number of tasks there may be chance of number of tasks being created repeatedly even though for you to show i'll keep it daily and keep it done and then at the right top i'll click on save option i'll click on save but uh, you can write the description for this task what exactly the task is about so call person to the xyz from the company xyz so yes this is the overall once you save the task this is the overall look and feel of the task details and i'm clicking on the home page and this particular task what i have just created will be shown under the pending task right on the home screen see here as i kept the option to repeat there are more than one task being created see here see the same uh, this is the recurring uh, task what i have created and this is the status priority high and each and every details what we have given there are being shown here at the right side also you will get the information what i have kept what i'll do is i just opened another chrome tab on my same laptop and i have logged into the alex zoho crm account see here this is not my super admin account this is now this is the super admin account i'm just switching to another uh, chrome window and there i have logged into alex so what i have created here with the super admin task will be appearing into alex zoho because i assigned this task to the alex for to execute see here the task owner is alex so first of all as i said i'll click on edit and first of all i try to stop this recurring option uh, repeat so as this is creating numerous recurring tasks first i'll stop this one okay i'll click on save now there won't be any new task being created for this okay yeah i guess it is fine now okay i'll click on home 
and check it i'll just scroll down okay fine fine i'll uh, shift to the other tab and again here also i'll refresh the page here see here alex this is the alex account and here everything with the progress is being shown here yes fine okay now the current task is in progress state okay this is on my admin dashboard see here on admin dashboard on the right side if you can see info timeline and conversations when you click on timeline it will show all the actions which are being executed on this particular task on the timeline you can check what all the actions which are appearing here and now i'll shift to the alex tab now what i'll do is i'll just shift to the alex tab see here this is the alex tab and i'll do something here on the task what is i'll try to add a description or a short note for example something like i'll write something like means the other person has called to the uh, customer or the client he is noting something i just called to the client and it will take one more call and he updated the task now i'll go to the admin dashboard i'll go to that i'll shift to that okay this is the admin dashboard and i'll refresh the page i'll refresh the page and check the timeline so just by checking the timeline of the task i will get to know what all actions or what is the status being updated in the current task see here in the pending task when i click on the uh, this particular task i'll try to check the timeline here i'll try to check the timeline okay click on timeline note added call to okay i just called to the client and it will take one more call so by checking on the timeline we can get the status of the current pending task and one more thing if the task is completed the other person alex can close the task as completed but if you face any error for being closing the task like permission denied or something just comment down below uh, right now as a admin i am closing this task actually alex need to close the task but as a admin i am just uh, changing the status to completed for you to show in the tutorial but the actual person to close is the owner which is alex in this tutorial if you face like permission denied just comment below i have a solution for this this is just because of the permissions you need to give okay that's it for now if you have any queries please do comment in the comment section 